Welcome back guys, this is Ray here, and welcome back to another video. And so today I'm going to be showing you sort of a modding kind of tutorial for a new Minecraft launcher that I have discovered. Not really discovered, plenty of people use it, probably most of my subscribers, but for the people out there that don't know how to mod and are having troubles with it just like me, then you can go ahead and download this launcher and you guys will see how awesome it is. So the first step you want to do is go to your default browser, mine is Google Chrome, and go just go to Google and search up Magic, nope, not ma Magic Launcher. And then the launcher is right here. You can scroll down and download it right here. It says download for Windows, for Mac, for Windows slash Mac slash Linux, and then you have the mirror downloads here. So once you have that downloaded, uh, drag it to your desktop or wherever you want it to be. And you uh, la launch it up, and I'll click run, and so it's open. Now right here we have the Minecraft news, and for some reason Windows Live blocks it. And we also have the Mojang site, which is its like new news. We have Minecraft on Reddit, Notch on Twitter, Jeb on Twitter, Dinnerbone on Twitter, and the Minecraft Wiki. And so as you can see right here, because my previous mod... Pre previous configure the previous mod showcase is set to bibliocraft because it was previously bibliocraft and so i have three configurations and i will teach you about f configurations default bibliocraft and turtlecraft and i'm just going to set it for default right now and so yeah you can put in username and password and if you go to the options you actually have more um like options <laughs> Uh, it'll tell you what version, the location it's in, the uh, launcher version, the language, and yeah, and options like show the news to close the launcher after login, and the snapshots, and uh, it's not for updating for some reason, it might just be a bug. And you can also click show log so that when you launch Minecraft, through the magic launcher it'll give you like a little command prompt ish kind of thing that will basically tell you everything that's happening so uh... you can tinker around with that but if you want to get really into the modding you can go into setup and right here it, it may look complicated but once you get to know like how it works then uh, it could be really helpful for you so right up here we have the default configure configuration ray jeez configuration and you can put in um and yeah the con default configuration which is basically your default minecraft.jar and then you have the environment which is classic which basically means um 1.5.2 you can also launch in these certain snapshots right here and it'll tell you like yeah where you want it to be and stuff like that and so this is my default what I usually play on is the only mod I have installed right now is Optifine so what you can do is that um, when you're right here in the default configuration you can go to add and then it'll look in your downloads or your dot minecraft but you can easily go to your downloads and you can simply slap in a dot zip file that's supposed to go into the dot jar and uh, the magic launcher will know what to do with it. So, say you put in a mod, and your uh, Minecraft.jar was clean, and so it had meta inf. It would usually say one errors because meta inf was in it. And so, magic launcher is smart, and so when you launch it, it won't actually load it with the error. It'll get rid of it and launch it. So that's why it says Optifine's okay because before it said one error. And so you can easily put in more mods and such as Minecraft Forge. But if I were to go in and add Minecraft Forge, it would say not compatible. And the reason being is that mods have to be in a certain order to work. It's kind of weird. But uh, you can highlight it and press the up button. And then they should both say one errors. But when I actually launch it, they'll be fine. Now, I don't really want Minecraft Forge in my default.jar because I don't have any mods that support Minecraft Forge. I mean, Optifine does, but I don't really need it. So I can remove Minecraft Forge, and Optifine will stay in there just fine. And if I don't want Optifine and I just want to play vanilla Minecraft in my default configuration, I can easily uncheck this box and launch without any mods whatsoever. And so it's really simple like that. And so I can turn it back on. And so... 
What you may be thinking now is that, say, you were getting a Minecraft Forge mod, and then you had the mod had to go into the mods folder, and uh, obviously that's not here because this just puts it in the Minecraft.jar. But down here is where you can edit the external mods, such as computer craft, bibliocraft, furniture mod, and stuff like that, that are supposed to go into the mods folder. So once you have the mod that's supposed to go in the mods folder in Minecraft Forge, you can go ahead and click Manage, and it'll open up your mods folder, and you can put in the mods that you want in there. Just like that. And so you can check and uncheck them. But since I don't have Forge, my Magic Launcher is smart enough to say that there is no Forge and therefore I cannot launch it. But it's fine with Optifine. Now, what is really cool is that, say, you wanted not really separate dot jars, but separate configurations. So you won't have to uh, install and deinstall mods. You can do just that. By up here is configuration, and I have default, bibliocraft, and turtlecraft. Bibliocraft, let me open up that configuration, has Minecraft Forge, Optifine, and Bibliocraft enabled. So it'll launch Minecraft Forge, Optifine, and Bibliocraft when I play on the Bibliocraft configuration. And I also have the Turtlecraft mod, which has uh, Minecraft Forge, Optifine, and Computercraft, and I call it Turtlecraft because it has turtles, and I love turtles. Uh, my favorite animal. But, yeah, so you can have different configurations, which I think is very, very useful. Just like, ma it's sort of like making your own Tekkit launcher, because you have, like, different mod packs you can choose from each time you play. And I'm just going to go back to my default, and it won't have any of those mods turned on. And if you ever wanted to test your Minecraft before, like, you installed a mod... Or, like, you installed them on and you didn't want to just launch it normally and log in. You can always click the test button right down here. Um, it's down here. Um, yeah, down, down here at the test. You will be able to, uh, Minecraft will launch. In fact, I'll click it right now in the default. Minecraft will launch, except you won't be logged in. You'll be logged in as a guest. So, say if I were to go to, like... I don't know, this random world right here, then you would notice that I actually do not have my Minecraft skin because, well, uh, I'm not signed in. And if I were to die, it would just show my email. So yeah, uh, I can save and quit the title and quit the game. And so basically, that's how you test. Now, if you just want to go ahead and start playing, you can click OK and then click Log In. But, um... Yeah, that's basically the gist of it, and if you ever wanted to delete a configuration, you can go to the configuration you want to delete, and then just press the delete button. But, uh, I don't want to delete any because I like using them, but, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Um, um, think, oh, right, uh, if you go to the advanced tab right here, you can set up the window size you want Minecraft to launch in, whether you want it to be maximized or full screen, and this is something I've been looking for for a long time is to be able to allocate more RAM to Minecraft without having to make a batch file and you can do that right here so you can just go to memory and instead of putting 512 you can put in as much RAM as you want it to be except don't put in as much RAM as your computer has or else your computer's going down so yeah <laughs> I've always wanted that, so now I can play Minecraft better, woo. Um, so I'm trying to think if I got everything covered. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, so, uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And so I'll put a link to the Magic Launcher in the description below if you ever want to download it. And so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.